It is important to understand terminal value when building DCF models. So what is terminal value? It's the value of an asset, business or project beyond the forecasted period when future cash flows can be is estimated. Usually the forecasted period taken for DCF model is 5 or 10 years. Terminal value assumes a business will grow at a set growth rate forever after the forecast period. And it often comprises a large percentage of the total assessed value. There are two approaches to calculate terminal value. First is growing perpetuity me method or Gordon growth model, where you take free cash flows for the last forecasted period multiplied by 1 plus terminal growth rate, which is the growth rate with which the company will grow steadily after the forecasted period, divided by WAC minus growth rate. The second approach is exit multiple, where you take last 12 months of EBITDA for the last forecasted year and multiply it by the multiple. The growing perpetuity method is used most frequently to build financial models such as discounted cash flow. So let's go ahead and calculate terminal value for the given example. We have our free cash flows for forecasted years in the row 22. We have WAC and terminal growth rate here as well, so we can calculate terminal value using per perpetuity growth method. Let's do that in the cell H23 equals my free cash flow for the final forecasted year multiplied by 1 plus terminal growth rate in the cell C5 divided by my WAC in the cell C4 minus my growth rate. We build the formula, let's press enter and see the result. It's 698,573 as my terminal value for the given example. Perfect.